This week, I want to give you some practice thinking about the elevator conversation version of your research. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that phrase, an elevator conversation is an opportunity for you to provide others um, a, a relatively short uh, but, but very important description of the work that you're doing and why it's important. You know, we call it an elevator conversation because think about the time you might have in a, in a building when you gather together in an elevator between floors. Uh, if you think about it, that's how much time you have when you run into somebody who is in, the in a position to be really helpful to you or where you're in a position to really provide them with something that's helpful to them. Um, how you can relay that information very quickly enough to hook their interest uh, and to hopefully develop an opportunity for, for conversation to continue. So um, we're going to work on that this weekend uh, in the discussion board post. I'd like you to think about what is that elevator conversation? What is that very brief description of, of what it is that you're doing in your research? Why it's important? and what it is that you found. And at this point, even though you haven't gathered all the narrative around the ideas that you've, you've brought together in your literature, literature review, um, you, in your mind, you probably have a pretty strong idea at this point in the semester what it is you've you found. Um, what are the most important findings, at least. So uh, that's going to be the focus this weekend. Again, just, just to repeat, you're going to have to talk about um, what it is you're studying, why it's important, and what it is that you found. And I'd like you to, to, uh, to write that initial post in the discussion post uh, for this weekend, but I'd like you to do so uh, thinking about what it is that you can communicate in one minute or less. Uh, so I, I encourage you, before you just you know, type it, but also read it and time yourself and ask yourself if this is really something that you can, uh, you can complete in that time. Now, um, you will, throughout your doctoral program, be asked many, many times, uh, what are you studying for your dissertation? What are you doing for your dissertation? Uh, you need to have a good answer to that, and this is the beginning of having a good answer to that. So, uh, after you've made your initial post, and I'll have some more, I'll have these exact directions actually in the discussion board, uh, I'd like you to then uh, come back, read everybody's, and ask questions. When, when other students provide information that isn't as clear as it could be, uh, look for clarification. Uh, but also, I want you to use this opportunity uh, to ask follow-up questions. Um, pick out those elements of what your colleagues are saying that you find the most interesting. Um, ask follow-ups, and then as you see follow-ups being asked of you, I'd like you to, to, to join back in and respond to those. Again, this gives you an opportunity to uh, to see your research through other people's eyes, uh, but but through uh, a very brief conversation. Now, uh, class in general, I just want to say I've been very pleased with the quality of the rewrites that I've had a chance to uh, to look at for the initial brief. I've already had a couple of brief twos come in, and I've started to look at those, and I can see that um, in general the class's understanding of of how to critique literature is improving. Uh, I think that your, your narrative, uh, your style, and organization is improving. I'm very excited about that. Now, don't lose track of the schedule because if you look at the course schedule, uh, we have a, a peer review process coming up, which means that um, you're supposed to have a, um, a draft of your lit review um, coming up relatively soon. So um, I encourage you to all go back to the course schedule. You may not have looked at that in a while. Go back and make sure that you're really clear about what your deadlines are uh, and, and, um, and organize your, your time accordingly. Uh, I've also had a chance to meet with a lot of you one-on-one, -on -one, uh, and, uh, and I think that's gone really well. So um, if you have, and some of you have just sent me email questions to, to talk about. So if you have questions or issues, remember this is a small graduate seminar. The way that this class works, and I know that you've heard me say this ten times, so you, you might be getting annoyed by it by now, but the way this class works best is when you take advantage of this really small uh, class opportunity uh, to work with me one-on-one um, -on -one in small groups, give yourself an opportunity to benefit from that dialogue, um, 
and, and, and let me try to help you as best I can. This, this is, in, in many ways, a structured approach to the way that you'll be working with your doctoral committee moving forward. It's meant to mimic that in many ways and to help you learn how to do that effectively. Uh, but for it to for it to be effective, uh, you have to uh, you have to manage that relationship. Okay. So uh, overall, really good job. Looking forward to seeing you online this weekend. And as always, if you have any questions, if there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask.